wanted to show some details about how to get one of these connectors apart. Uh, this is the blue connector on an E78 ECU on a 2011 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD two-wheel drive automatic. Now, this little guy here is tricky to get out. But you're going to have to stick something behind here <clears throat> and, and get those pins released. And unless you have a special tool or something to do it from the front, which I didn't have that, but now that you're now that I'm looking at it, you can probably stick something down in there to release that. Let me show you what I did uh, from the back. If you remove this little black clip here and this foam insulator, you can see the little clips on each side. They'll be right here. And I just reached in there with a, a pick and moved it and went to the other side and pried it out the front. Okay. Now what I'm doing here is, is I have a poor communication and I'm pulling out the wires that are related. There's three wires here that, on this black connector that are related. And uh, it's the dark blue, the tan black, and the tan with a black stripe. There's two of them. Pin number 18, 29, and 43. That's the ones I'm working on. We're getting erratic communications. I just wanted to pull this apart and have a good look at it to see. I wanted to run it into one of the pins to feel the tension on it. And I'm going to put it back together. Uh, if this thing still gives me problems, I'm going to have to order some new pins for it. There's really not much to do with this. I'm afraid to bend it or do anything to it to cause it to have more tension because it's just it's so small and fragile I, I don't want to mess with it and this truck needs to be back together and running here within the hour. <clears throat> so I just wanted to go over a little bit about this connector. I did disconnect the battery before I touched anything. Please disconnect the battery before you do that. Okay, Before you unplug any of these plugs or mess with this computer or anything. Uh, you're going to get a heart, hot spark off somewhere, and that uh, causes problems. Okay, we don't want problems. So, I'm looking at these pins and, and checking everybody out and, and cleaning it. <clears throat> I'm not doing anything else to it. No oil or lubricant is required on these type of pins, and I think that uh, the GM uh, tech manual says no lubrication at all. So, we're just going to put this sucker back together the way it is. This is uh, kind of a dry run for this deal here. I'm trying to get past an erratic uh, PCM communication code. So, all right, take it easy.